The Introduction to Physical Chemistry video mentions that there are many math skills which are prerequisites and others which would be very helpful for students in physical chemistry. So this video is an intro to the Math Review for PCHEM playlist which is going to review many of these topics and this video will list uh, the, the basics of what that's going to include. So as I mentioned that includes algebra, things like properties of polynomials, how do you add them, how do you multiply them, their order, things like that. Uh, the roots where the zeros of these polynomials, how do you solve polynomial equations. Um, rules for exponents, like multiplying uh, inverse exponents, things like that. Uh, same thing as well for logarithms. And how to work with complex numbers and some properties of those things when there are imaginary components to them. For trigonometry, we have the basic trig functions, you know, sine, cosine, tangent, etc. Uh, what the graphs of those things look like, uh, what the unit circle, what the value of those in a, in a 2D plane are, some trigonometric identities, and some transformations between coordinate systems, Cartesians to polar or spherical polar. And the Euler's formula, which relates e to the ikx to sines and cosines. And then also very valuable in PCHEM, used a lot, would be calculus, things like derivatives and integrals, uh, the definitions of what those are, what the integrals and derivatives of some standard functions are, like polynomials, cosine, sine, e to the x, log x, and the special rules, uh, product rule, quotient rule, chain rule, integration by parts, integration by substitution, and then uh, other things like repeated differentiation, second derivatives, third derivatives, critical points where derivatives are zero, Taylor series approximating functions as polynomials, partial derivatives, derivatives for multi-dimensional functions, and multi-dimensional integrals integrating in more than one dimension. So a lot of these, some of these are used very heavily, like this top up here, and others are used more, uh, not, not super often, but you need to be aware of what they are and how to do it for some basic functions. Then we move into the line of what stuff that isn't essential but would probably be helpful and is this is more an introduction for the math for um, the computational chemistry playlist because basically all of electronic structure theory basically all of quantum mechanics for molecules is going to use linear algebra and the language of that type of math. So that will include things like vectors, matrices, determinants, those first three being pretty useful and helpful if you're taking undergrad PCHEM. Then we move into more of the advanced topics of matrix properties, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrices, uh, Hermitian and unitary matrices, unitary transformations, matrix diagonalizations, those types of things, matrix commutators, and functions of matrices as well. So this playlist may grow over time to include more topics uh, within these sections, more advanced bonus topics, but this is sort of the uh, grab bag of advanced engineering math that is useful for the types of things that you study in physical chemistry as it is kind of a hybrid between an upper level chemistry course and a mid-level physics course for undergraduates.